Our main goal is to address the issue of equity, to make sure that students are not going down a direction that would lead them to become second-class citizens. What can we do to help our local school districts and our local universities and colleges, specifically Goshen College, to be welcoming and to be ready for that influx of students as they come into college? Goshen, Indiana is not unlike the rest of the country. It's experienced a boom in the Latino population. Latinos now comprise 14% of the population. And we've seen an increase in the number of Latino students in the local elementary schools and high schools. Most of the Latino population is very young. 73% is concentrated on the 18 to 35 age group. Those students will be coming up through the school system and hopefully coming to college. That's our intent. The creation of a truly diverse campus requires a commitment to God's vision of building a world house of learning. The focus of the research is really understanding all the factors associated with student learning. We begin to look at them very carefully. What happens in the classroom? What happens outside of the classroom? What happens in the dorms? What happens even in the financial side? College has been talked about a lot as a pathway to a future. The reality is, is the pathway for Latino students may be slightly different. They might not understand where to turn, or how to get help, or how to get this pathway straightened out for them. I think as we look at new pathway for the students, research will be that place where we ask those questions, where we explore new possibilities. Without CITL, I don't think I'd be able to get into a college like this one, especially. I mean, this is a very prestigious college around here. They've helped me a lot, especially with uh, the grant that they gave me. The CITL made it comfortable for me and my parents. We consider ways of connecting with students that also means connecting with their family. The rule of thumb typically has been to think that parents, generally Latino parents, immigrant parents, may not be as interested in education as they're interested in work. One of the things that we're finding is that they're very much concerned about education. Our Latino students bring great gifts to this campus and to this world, and so our hope, our intent, is to help train them to be the best doctors, business people, teachers, whatever they want to be in life. I'm planning to double major elementary education and also in TESOL, which is teaching English as a second language. I want to go into Hispanic communities because I know there are a lot of people who really struggle out there finding jobs and communicating. The reason I wanted to become a teacher is to help young kids in school, especially Latinos growing up. I see a generation that has a lot of talent, a lot of possibility, a lot of promise. If you get to see them as they interact in schools, that when you get to see their eyes and their desire to, to answer questions, um, they have something to contribute. And I think if we don't step in and we don't do something about this, we're going to lose that gift of a generation that has something to offer, not only to Indiana, but for the rest of the country. At Goshen College, we want an intercultural campus that reflects the diversity of God's good creation. One of the things that we know best about educational success is that it can really depend on what kind of teacher you have how well that teacher can understand both where you're coming from and where you want to go to support you in getting there. It's not enough to say we recruit Latino students and then they come and they become like us. The issue is really how do we transform this campus? How do we learn from what we're doing here and share that around the nation, around the world? So you're not just accommodating students who are different. You really are using that difference as a point of learning. That's what transformation is about, changing what we're doing to really meet the needs of all students, of diverse students, and of Latino students here at Goshen College. They're in an avenue educationally that leads to leadership positions, that leads to influence, that leads to transformative power in our country's future. Being a Latino, we want to be able to rise and be more noticeable here and in the sense that we have to give back to the community as well, to other Latinos that don't have this opportunity to motivate them. What excites me more about CITL is that every year we have a new freshman group. I have the honor to show them around and to tell them more about CITL and Goshen College and they seem very excited. What I would like to see with the future of the center is to not only grow here on campus at Goshen College, but to see some type of program like this move across the nation where Latinos have a better chance of going to further their education in any state. It's a good thing because there were 
for it. As we continue on in the future, what we hope to see at the center, what we expect to see at the center, is the process of continuing to learn new ideas, the process of continuing to educate. We're really excited about the opportunity to share what we've learned, what we do here, to hope that other students across the country can benefit from what we're doing here. The Goshen College core values define us, challenge us, and change us. As global citizens, let us dream boldly about a truly intercultural campus. Find out more at citl.goshen.edu.